It's kind of confusing, Jade, because the 6 p.m. crowd, they were nothing but excited. But the 9 p.m. crowd that just went into the movie uh, to watch, they were a little nervous, you know. So I guess it's two sides to the fold. But I know one thing that I never fold is the love that these people have for Star Wars. Inside the Malco Grandview Theater, you will find the first IMAX theater in the state of Mississippi. And inside of there is where an accumulation of almost three generations of Star Wars will come to an end. It's the last of a lot of these things. It's the last with these characters. It's the last with John Williams' music. It's, it's the end of an era. I think, uh, I think it's, it's going to be really cool. The crowd here for this iconic movie ranged from adults all the way down to the kiddos. As a kid, you know, I just wanted to grow up to be Han Solo. I've been going to see these movies since I was five years old in the theaters. I really love Star Wars, so like I like doing Star Wars things. The Star Wars fan world is massive, and it's almost as if they are their own family and speak their own language. Just international, it's everywhere in the world. Uh, the reason that people care so much on both sides is because it's, it's more than just a movie, it's really impactful to, like I said, your childhood and, and to, uh, to friendships. I mean, it's just, there's so much, it's a social aspect of Star Wars that makes it more than just a film. With these dedicated fans following for years, I wanted to know what they thought would be the perfect ending to their lifelong love. Just to honor all the characters that have come before in the previous Star Films to really put their story to rest the right way. I don't think there is one. I think, you know, no matter what the ending is, you know, some people are going to love it, some people aren't. It is what it is. The popcorn has been popped and the seats have been filled. And all there's left to do now is enjoy the movie. Man, I know that popcorn looks good, and my combination at the movies is a popcorn and Coke. But uh, if you weren't able to come out here uh, for the Star Wars tonight, you can go to our website at WJTV.com, where we'll provide the link for all the showtimes and prices that you'll need to know for Star Wars here at Malco Grandview Theaters. In Madison, Gary Burden, 12 News.